guys uh, welcome so much for uh, today's tutorial now I'm going to show you something uh, that can take you to the two chord the key of F sharp or G flat yeah so we are in the key of F sharp so F sharp number one G sharp number two A sharp number three uh, B number four C sharp number five D sharp number six F7 F sharp 8. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you a passing chord to the 2 chord. Uh, G sharp minor is the 2 chord. G sharp minor is the 2 chord. Uh, kindly, if it's your, new, it's your first time to be in this channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. Uh, tomorrow when I post another tutorial, you'll be the first person to be notified. Yeah, so we are in the key of G flat. Uh, G flat, yeah. So, uh, I think we did about uh, diminished chords. Now, one, uh, one function of diminished chords is that they are used as passing chords. And that is the main reason. Diminished chords mainly play a very, a very big role or, or they play a very important role in uh, performing as passing chords. Now, the, pa the, the, the passing chord that I'm going to give you is a diminished seventh passing chord. Uh, so it's a C sharp diminished seven, and uh, we are going to play it in the key of uh, F sharp. So let's talk, let's take for instance the song Nafsi Yangu ya Kutamani. Nafsi Yangu ya Kutamani. Yeah, so for instance, that song, uh, we can use the diminished seventh chord. Now, we create diminished chords by playing this root, minor third, minor fifth. Uh, yeah, that is how we can form diminished chords. So, for instance, uh, the passing chord that we're going to play, uh, we are going to play it in the key, uh, uh, it, it's a C sharp diminished seventh. So let us first create C sharp diminished chord. So uh, this is C sharp. So when you flatten the third, it's a C sharp minor. When we flatten the fifth, it's a C sharp diminished chord. So that's a C sharp diminished chord. Uh, then, yeah, so that's a C sharp diminished chord. Then we flatten the seventh. We flatten the seventh uh, two times, or we play, in short, forming a diminished seventh chord, you play a minor third interval. You play a minor third interval. So, for instance, this is a C sharp diminished. So this is a C sharp. This is C sharp. So this is C sharp, key C sharp. So we count three times uh, going on the higher octave. So one, two, three. We, pl we count another three. One, two, three. Yeah? So that is a C-sharp diminished chord. Let us count another three intervals. One, two, three. So that means this is the C-sharp diminished seventh chord. C-sharp diminished seventh chord. We are going to use it as a passing chord to the two. We are going to play it over a sharp one note on our left hand. So on my right hand, I have five sharp 6, or I have C sharp, E, G, and A sharp. So that is the chord. You can also try uh, inversions. So you can also try inversions. Yeah, try doing some inversions, depending on the melody also. Yeah, so this is the chord. It's a C sharp uh, diminished seventh chord. So we are going to play it over a sharp one note. G. So. So you 
can see how it uh, goes so well uh, in the two chord. So it's a passing chord to the two chord, diminished seventh chord. You can try doing some inversions. Let's try doing the uh, with the first inversion. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, that is the chord, that is the passing chord that can take you to the two chord. You play a diminished seventh on your right hand and you play a sharp one note. This is a sharp one or G. Or G. A sharp one or G. so much subscribe hit the notification bell share comment like thank you so much god bless you see you in the next lesson thank you